Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Eon Network. I have a very, very frightening story to share all of you, and hopefully all of you are safe out there because, well, not only the Smart Schoolboy 9 situation happening, but also the rise of the Killer Clowns happening in the year of 2024. But moments ago, we did receive a message, and according to this individual, they had a Killer Clown living in the attic of their house, which leads to the question, are there Killer Clowns out there that are indeed living in the homes of individuals or families out there that many people are unaware of? Well, nonetheless, we're going to go ahead and read you the story. But as always, viewer discretion is advised because it's not, I'll tell you, it's a very, very disturbing story nonetheless. Take a look. So this was sent a couple of hours ago. Now, before I read the subject here, uh, I would like to preface this saying that the individual that sent this did ask for us to keep their name anonymous, uh, which is exactly what we're going to do. But it's a very, very frightening story. And... It's very unsettling here, folks. I'm going to go ahead and read it. And I quote, It was a quiet afternoon when I decided to explore the attic. We had lived in the house for years, but none of us ever went up there. Okay, so the place always gave me the creeps with its dark, dusty corners and creaky floorboards. Still, my curiosity got the better of me and I grabbed a flashlight, making my way up to the narrow stairs. At first, it seemed like a normal attic. Old boxes, broken furniture, and forgotten toys. I shuffled through the mess, pushing things aside when something strange caught my eye. In the far corner was a small trunk. It was locked, but the lock was old and rusty. With a bit of force, I managed to snap it open. Inside, I found clown costumes. Bright red and yellow, smeared with dirt and what looked like dried blood. My stomach turned, but I couldn't stop looking. There were other things in the trunk, too. A dirty clown mask with smeared makeup and strange torn pictures of families I didn't recognize. That's when the realization hit me. This stuff didn't belong to any of us. Someone else had been living here. My heart raced, and I felt a chill crawl up my spine. The thought of a stranger, especially a killer clown, hiding in our attic made my skin crawl. I scrambled back towards the stairs, but it... But as I turned to leave, I noticed something else. Footprints in the dust. They weren't mine. They were bigger, fresher. My blood ran cold, and I realized they led to a small door at the back of the attic. I'd never noticed it before, but now it stood out as if it had been waiting for me to find it. I didn't dare open that door. Instead, I bolted downstairs, my heart pounding in my chest. I told my family what I found, but none of them believed me at first. It wasn't until we all heard the floorboards cracking late that night that they realized I wasn't making it up. Someone or something was still up there. We called 911. Police officers arrived. They went up to the attic, but found nothing except for the clown clothes and other items I previous, previously mentioned. They said that they couldn't find anyone, which means really one thing. This killer clown found a way to escape, and he's out there, perhaps looking for another house to live in. Talk about nauseous. I mean, I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine if you start hearing things in the middle of the night, you hear footsteps I mean, just think about that. You wake up in the middle of the night, you hear footsteps in your attic, and then you wake up realizing that there's someone out there, and then, my goodness gracious, it's a killer clown. And this is why I'm telling all of you, ladies and gentlemen, to make sure that you keep your eyes out, because there are a lot of killer clowns out there that are very much crazy and dejected enough to really start doing this. And now that the killer clown season has begun, and now that the killer clown purge is expected to happen on the 20, uh, excuse me, the 31st of October next month, uh, it is expected that killer clowns are once again gonna they're, they're gonna go back to their shenanigans for sure and I Applaud every single one of you who are definitely sharing the stories in the in the videos getting the the chance to tell your friends and family It's gonna be a very important thing for all of you guys to make sure that you keep your eyes in the back of your head Because again killer clowns are gonna be everywhere remember what happened a couple of episodes ago the killer clown penny the clown did say that they would be living in the shadows and they would come out whenever it's time to strike so, quote, living in the shadows. Clearly, these killer clowns are not visibly seen, but they are doing what they can to hide. Now, if this story is legitimately true, now, we are we are actually sharing the story for the sake of the subject at hand. For all we know, this person made up the story. 
uh, or it could have been a story that he got off Google, who knows? However, we're still gonna share it because despite the fact that this has a chance for it to be fake, it also has a chance for it to be true. And the bottom line is the message is clear. You, along with your family members and friends, need to understand that it's really critical and very much important for all of you to stay safe out there and to make sure that you guys do not fall under their traps because these killer clowns will do everything to make sure they gain your trust so you can trust them and then they are perhaps going to do something brutal to you. But as far as this story here, I mean, what else can I say because... Uh, this right here I did not expect. I'm not going to lie to you, ladies and gentlemen. I did not expect this story to go that route. And just, again, just thinking about how that person was feeling. I mean, going up to the attic and finding clown masks inside this this box and being able to just see that there were clothes as well as, as the killer clowns were, or at least a certain killer clown was living up there all this time without them knowing. And it just, it very, very much creeps me out reading out this this whole story, this anecdote here. So again, folks, again, I don't know if this is real or not, but what I do know is that it's safe for me to say that it's always important to keep you and your family safe. So as always, folks, and I'm not saying that every single house out there who has every single person who has an attic in their house, I'm not saying that all the killer clowns are there. And obviously, I'm not saying that the killer clowns are going to be breaking into your homes anytime soon, but there's just a lot of weirdos out there. So it's always it's always going to be important. It's going to be very critical for all of you guys to make sure that you just keep your eye out and just make sure that you understand that it's best to check your surroundings and uh, you keep each other safe, not just your family members, but also other citizens out there, even strangers who might need your help. It's best for, for you guys to help out each other and to really be together at a time like this because these killer clowns are no joke. These guys really like to do this um, in numbers when it comes to purging, but when it comes to creepy stuff like this, living in houses without no one knowing, I mean, that's just, again, that is ridiculous, if you ask me. That is more so sickening than ever before for these guys to be doing this. Honestly, sickening, and I felt nauseous reading this, but nonetheless, everyone, I want all of you guys to stay safe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think this story was fabricated by this user, or... Do you think this was a legitimate story? Again, I can't necessarily confirm if this is true or not. However, if it's not true, great. At least we're still giving the warning out there to stay safe. But if it's true, it's something that all of you are aware now. And you guys have to make sure that you stay together and safe. Thanks for joining us in this episode, everybody. Of course, we're going to continue the Killer Clown reports as the days go by. I'm not sure about the Smart School Boy 9. We might be doing more videos about it. We haven't seen anything yet. We haven't actually heard any updates just yet, so we might not do a report on him tomorrow. But if we do hear any reports, we'll go ahead and schedule that video for tomorrow. But until then, everyone, stay safe out there. Like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode.